What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gatehi and in today's video, I don't have a fun fact for you, but I will be giving you some interesting tips uh, in regards to editing in Premiere Pro. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the benefits of using the workspaces inside of Premiere Pro. And if you're not using workspaces, you better start using workspaces because it saves you a lot of time in reorganizing a lot of things. Now, I came to learn that there's actually a group of people that um, don't know about the importance and the um, ease of using Premiere with uh, workspaces. You know, I made a TikTok video the other day uh, regarding somebody I was talking about like uh, one of the workspaces I'm gonna be showing you guys. And in the comments, I had guys like going like, hey, I didn't know about this or you know, I never knew, thanks for this. And I was like, wait, people are not using workspaces. So let me make a video about it. So here we are. So I started using workspaces, I think sometime earlier this year because I came to realize that reorganizing the whole Premiere thing is uh, a hassle and you know, especially if you're creating content for vertical platforms, this is gonna help you out a lot. So anything from Instagram Reels to TikToks to Stories, anything that's vertical, you know, this is gonna help you out a lot, trust me. So for now, I'm gonna head over to the computer and yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys the magic of uh, workspaces uh, over there. So, cut to, yeah, cut, 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 cut. All right guys, all right, all right. All right guys, so we're here at the computer and um, I'm not gonna pull up my Premiere Pro. A couple of things to note, uh, firstly that um, the, one of the features I'm gonna be talking about here um, is exclusive to Premiere Pro 2022. So make sure you have your Premiere updated uh, so that you can follow along. So to start off uh, here, I just have like a very basic um, workspace, a normal workspace that usually greeted with when you open uh, Premiere Pro. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna import some random clips. I think I'm gonna import clips from the last vlog. All right, so we had this model in session. Uh, let me just get two clips for safety because I don't know uh, which one is long enough. Okay, so now we have a, a project set up for, you know, whatever you wanna do. But as you can see in the arrangement, you know, you have the program sequence that's very horizontal. You have the timelines, very horizontal effects and everything. This is usually a very standard looking uh, setup when you first open Premiere. It usually looks something like this. I've tweaked it a little bit, but this is generally how the setup normally looks like. So uh, let me first show you the difference between using a workspace and not using a workspace. So uh, let's say, for instance, I get a new sequence in here and I have my preset sequences for uh, this stuff. And it's called this test sequence. Uh, so it's 1080p smartphones, it's a 1080p sequence that's vertical because it's 1080p by 1920 instead of 1920 by 1080, which would be a normal uh, horizontal video. So I've opened my sequence and so the first thing you want to notice is the preview is very tiny in of itself. So uh, let's say if I include this clip right here, now obviously it's natively in horizontal because cameras don't shoot vertical uh, automatically. So I'm just gonna rotate it. So now it's rotated and uh, you know, I have my clip here. If I play it back, I can see, but there are certain details here that I can't see. I can't see too much information in the shadows. It's, it's pretty hard to see what the whole frame looks like. And so the couple of things you can do is maybe after you make a change, you can uh, bring up the program monitor to be a bit bigger, you know, in the kind of full screen. It's not really full screen as you can see, but it's kind of like the full screen, but again, you lose your controls. Um, and that I do by pressing this key that I don't know what the name of it is. Um, it's like the backwards apostrophe. So previously, how people were doing this was, uh, they would come, they'd drag the program monitor and they'd put it off to the complete left or right. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but there's an, a suggestive halo on the, on the edge of the screen. And if I let go, it's gonna give you a bigger preview. But I don't know if you've noticed, it's just destroyed everything else, right? Everything else is just jumbled up. My effects bar here is completely shrunken. Um, my uh, effects control panel is way too big. And so then you'd have to come and start resizing things yourself and moving things around yourself. And that takes time. So what I'm gonna do, and this is also something uh, to note when using workspaces, is uh, first of all, this tab, this little button right here, maybe you have it, maybe you don't have it, but this is the tab for workspaces. If you don't have that, you can just go to window, workspaces and it's the same thing it's just it's literally the same thing so i'm just gonna do reset to saved layout that's gonna take it back to what it was before 
So then how do I work uh, with vertical videos um, without having to make my own workspace? I just come here and you can even see that Premiere has added some new ones like Essentials and Review. Um, the vertical one was also new uh, when this version came out. So under Workspaces, you can see here this vertical. And once I click that, Premiere is going to reorganize the working space uh, in an efficient manner. And probably the easiest, it's, it's the easiest workspace I've ever used for editing vertical videos. So I click vertical and it's just gonna take its time. And like that, you have a proper <laughs> vertical working space. It's so efficient. It's so properly arranged. Like the first time I, I, I tried it, I was like, there's literally nothing I would move here at all, right? You have the project uh, in, this, in the proper space where it's supposed to be, you have the effects panel in the same space. And once you drag an effect, you can edit it uh, in this middle area very easily. And you have a very nice preview window over here. So something else that can help if you're like me and you have two screens, what you can do is you can orient, uh, let's say, if, by the way, you probably have to have monitor arms to do this as well, but you come and flip it like this into a, vertical orientation, you come to display settings on your, and this is for Windows, I don't know how you do this for Mac, so Mac guys, I'm sorry. Um, and you click on this monitor and, and you just come here to change the display orientation. Instead of landscape, which is a default one, you change it to portrait flipped or portrait, depending on whether you rotated it uh, minus 90 degrees or plus 90 degrees, you know. So that's going to orient the screen to be literally a portrait view display. And it's going to have the display resolution of 1080 by 1920. So you go back to um, your Premiere project uh, after doing that, and you go to Preferences and Playback. Now under Playback, you're greeted with these options where you can select if you want a playback monitor to be full screen. So here you can see I have monitor one and monitor two. Monitor one is this one, my main, and monitor two is this one, the secondary. So if I check this box here at monitor two, the one that says 1080 by 1920, meaning it's not the normal resolution, 1920, but it knows it can, Adobe can tell it's flipped. So I check that and I hit okay. And I don't know if you can see that on video, but I have a full screen preview, top to bottom of whatever I'm working on. If I play that back, you can see that it plays back smoothly. So if you're doing any color work over here, you can uh, have your tools on one monitor. You can have a proper preview that's full screen on the other monitor for vertical videos and that just makes it way easier to edit these things um, in Premiere Pro. So aside from editing uh, vertical videos, you have other many other uh, workspaces. Uh, as you can see in the drop down menu, there's ones for uh, assembly, which is basically the chopping board part of things. You have uh, color, you have effects. I really love using the color one because it centers the shot and it allows me to have uh, Lumetri and any other color apps that um, I want to use. It lets me have that as a Lumetri bar with the LUTs and the curves and everything. The graphics one is really, really, really good. Uh, it's called Caption and Graphics. And this allows you to, you know, just apply the pre. I have a bunch of presets here, but it allows you to apply these easily. So guys, don't be afraid to use these uh, workspaces. They make your workflow a lot easier and mainly and especially if you're making vertical videos for uh, vertical delivery platforms such as Instagram, uh, Reels, Stories, TikTok, uh, and all other like phone-based uh, platforms that are vertical. So I think that's one of the tools that can really help you speed up the workflow and see what you're doing better. Um, because trust me, I, I, was, I was using the default view to do vertical videos for the longest time. And once I found that uh, option to have a workspace that is vertical, and it occupies a massive amount of my screen, I was like, this is literally the best thing ever. It's the best day ever. Uh, I think that's about it. So I'll just, I'll give, give it back to the studio. Studio Gatehi. Studio Gatehi is waiting to send you on your way. So see you there. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, as always, if you guys uh, want a space to shoot, uh, you know, photos and video work, here at NMK Studios, we have a nice space. We have a nice lighting, as you can see. We have mics, we have cameras, audio, all that stuff. So if you wanna do video work, you can do video work here. If you wanna do photography, we have some strobes and all of that. We have some backdrops, as you can see. And yeah, if you wanna book some sessions, in the description, the first thing you'll see is a link that takes you to the NMK Studio website. And if you hit the make an appointment button, that's gonna take you to our Instagram account. You can DM us there 
or you can uh, call us from that platform. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, if it was helpful to you, uh, please leave a like on it. It really helps the videos out a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. Each sub is really appreciated. And before I go, I just gotta say a big, big thank you for the first 100 subscribers on this channel that we hit last week. Understand it sounds like a small milestone, but trust me, you hitting 100 subs, um, to me it's something big and I really appreciate each and every one of you that has hit that subscribe button because it does take effort to actually you know, want to hit that button and be like, okay, I want to see this person's content. So it really does help the channel out a lot. It does help me put out more content because it means that you guys are enjoying the stuff I'm putting out. So thank you. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.